We can file this under no. Oh. Never mind. We'll file this under no kidding. This is from a John Nolte from Breitbart. It says, a ESPN president takes a knee. Fans do not want us to cover politics. I mean, how hard was that for, them to, for you to understand? ESPN president Jimmy Pitaro conceded defeat Monday by finally admitting, quote, without question, our data tells us f- our fans do not want us to cover politics. <laughs> well, no shit. Obviously, this is an opinion piece. You needed your data to tell you that, Jimmy? You needed to convene something to do a tabulation that delivers some data, Jimmy? Was it the 15 million lost subscribers? Was that the data? How about the endless complaints across social media, the editorials, maybe the layoffs, those massive layoffs? Were the layoffs the data, Jimmy? Perhaps it was the ratings crash, consumer sentiment? Seriously, Jimmy, please do share us with the data of which you speak. After years and years and years and years of Disney straight up lying to us, telling us again and again the infusion of left-wing politics and its sports coverage was not hurting the network, here we have no less than the ESPN president taking a knee. Here is his whole comment, where Pitaro also makes clear that he has sat down with his anchors and told them to shut up about their personal political opinions. Thank God. But I don't watch ESPN anymore, so who cares? And to focus instead of on the players and games, which ESPN should have done and kept doing. Anyways, Bitaro has also satisfied ESPN's more traditional fans by steering commenters away from political discussions on air and then social media, which heightened during President Trump's criticism of NFL players protesting against social injustice during the playing of the national anthem. Quote, Without question, our data tells us our fans do not want us to cover politics, Pitaro said. My job is to provide clarity. I really believe that some of our talent was confused on what was expected of them. No, they weren't. Really, they were confused. You po- they got the thumbs up and the, l- and the green light to do what they did. But it just backfired. As expected. If you fast forward to today, I don't believe they're confused. Yeah, because you put the red light on and told them to quit their crap. <clears throat> Naturally, the far left LA Times buries its own headline by burying this news deep in the interview. Of course, that's what they do. But let's compare Sunny's comments to what ESPN told us back in January of 2017. Hmm. So many of you write in every in every time we say something you disagree with politically, even though we don't talk politics around here, which you did. We talk race, we talk about cultural issues, we don't talk politics. So many of you write in, that's why ESPN is losing subscribers, because it's liberal leanings. Ding, ding. It's just a basic misunderstanding of what is happening in e- with ESPN that confirms to your biases. That is not why ESPN is losing subscribers at all. Uh-huh. ESPN is losing subscribers because in 2017, all the technology has changed, and the 99 million of you who have been paying for something that 98 million of you may not be using at any given time. It's not about politics of the company. The company doesn't have politics. Uh-huh. <clears throat> How about the good old days when f- former ESPN presidents were so deep in denial they claimed the network was not getting political? Oh, no, not getting political at all. <laughs> Oh my god. All right. It is accurate that the Walt Disney Company and ESPN are committed to diversity and inclusion. Oh my god. I hate those two words. Because they're just buzzwords. I don't even think the people who say them really mean what they mean anymore. These are long-standing values that drive fundamental fairness while providing us with the widest possible pool of talent to create the smartest and most creative staff. Only if you are orange man bad, a left-leaning ideologue, apparently. We do not view this as a political stance, but as a human stance. Uh-huh. We do not think tolerance is a domain of a political political philosophy. Uh-huh. My personal favorite was that when ESPN media apologists blamed the ratings death spiral on everything but politics. And they go in this quote about cord cutting 
the internet, not politics. People turn away from linear television, blah, 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 blah. Talk about fake news. Of course, it was all ridiculous at the time. We all knew it, but this is how far propaganda outlook like Disney is willing to go push propaganda and is how bad things have to get before it finally stops. Worst of all, for ESPN, was a permanent damage to his brand, a brand that once enjoyed universal goodwill. I remember watching ESPN and liking their content and watching, you know, your favorite team get, you know, raffle stomped by another another team that was just, just outgunned them, but whatever. Every time, every once in a while they'd win, you're like, yeah, the San Diego Chargers are good. Were good. Maybe they were never good at. Anyways. <laughs> so yeah, so sports fan has no place else to go. So of course, when it, it was the div- divisive left-wing politics, the 24-7 virtue signaling, the constant sucker punches aimed at tens of thousands, tens of millions of sports fans who didn't vote for Hillary. That's right. And it wasn't that ESPN got political. That too is a lie. If something is political, it allows both sides. All sides have a say. No, ESPN was partisan. And there's a big difference between political and partisan. ESPN moved far to the left, far, far, far to the left, and did so in an insulting manner, deliberately meant to antagonize anyone who dared disagree. Yeah, that's what happens. When these, these news organizations like ABC, NBC, CBS, etc., etc. They'll, they'll say, oh no, we're not left-leaning. And they throw on some token, quote-unquote, conservative... Who pu- who puppets and parrots Orange Man bad, and you're like, okay, uh, I get it. Not not everyone agrees Orange Man bad, but you're th- the point is I think is that these people lied and continue to lie and say, oh no, we're not losing business because we're too political or too partisan. As this, this article describes, they were. Personally, this is from John Milty's perspective, I think it's too late for ESPN to fully recover. There was never a boycott of ESPN. People on the right do not do boycotts. That's true. Some do, some don't, but for the most part, they don't. But we do eventually get sick and tired of BS like this and move along. And those who are those are the hardest people to win back because their habits have changed. They have found other things that interest them. That's true. Ever since the NFL got stupid political and and the comedian Bill Burr has talked about this no it was it Bill Burr I think Bill Burr and um, Doug Stanmo talked about this how they started wearing pink for breast cancer awareness and, and uh, Doug Stanhope, Stanhope went on to describe that part a very minuscule percentage of that money that they take in ever touches cancer research it goes to the administration and advertising and the quote unquote awareness so <clears throat> last year was probably the first time I did not watch a full game all the way through until the Super Bowl because before that I just didn't care uh, let's see it says ESPN used to win the ratings fight most weekly most every week now it is consistently in third to fifth place nevertheless those through those bloated cable bills even Though a little over a million people bother to watch ESPN, some 90 million suck- suckers still subsidize the left-wing sports outlets to the tune of $80 a year. Are you serious? Oh my god, that's that's ridiculous. But I don't know if it's really 90 million. I think it's probably half that, in my opinion, because there's no way that 80... It's 90 million people in this country and the United States wouldn't. So it is, that's a worldwide number. So if it was a worldwide number, that would be more correct. And he concludes, Jip, just like CNN, if you don't watch ESPN, you still pay for it simply because it is on your cable package. <laughs> package. Y'all really do need to cut the cord. I mean, <clears throat> yes, obviously... <laughs> Mr. Nolte is biased and he lets you know he's biased. There is no doubt that he's biased. Plus, it's on Breitbart, so you know what you're going to get. But his sentiments 
and his evidence are somewhat correct. They went... ESPN went left, far left, because they thought that's where the audience wanted. When they found out quickly that probably more than half the audience didn't want politics interjected, molded, and combined with sports. Why would you do that? I have no idea. Unless you're completely tone deaf and don't understand your audience, which is correct. So and he's, he's probably correct. ESPN is not going to fail per se. It's just, just going to get worse. They're just going to throw more reruns and probably do more um, like 30 for 30, more uh, biographies, if you will. And they'll, but they, but they won't, they'll cut their staff and they won't project any political ideology. But um, more than likely, they probably still will, but it'll be muted. They'll probably do some sort of snarky comment and then kind of move on like you didn't hear anything. But other than that, yeah, this, I, I just, I find it funny that Mr. Jimmy Pitaro didn't really get get the gist of you, you mean sports fans just like to watch sports but they don't want new you know left wing ideologue partisan politics on my on uh, sports I I didn't understand that I must that must have slipped by me well I'll tell you what didn't slip by most half your audience and you suffered you suffered for it and sometimes it takes. Time and money for people to understand where they messed up.